，我永远都会在这里，为你点亮前行的灯火。白衣小姐，在现在这个时代里，还存在着像这样的花吗？这里是我们的世界，我们的乐园。绚丽的花朵，我会赠予你璀璨的祝福。存在形式，至死都无法触及真理。Oh, ever since Alicia arrived, she's been on my mind. As we all know, Miss Pink Elf's breathtaking beauty transcends display. When Miss Pink Elf appeared, a long violin began playing, as if accompanying her battlefield dance, as she leaped from one target to another, a step away yet a world apart. Even girls cannot resist her charm. One shot, one shot, one shot, one shot. Are you praying? Oh yeah, right. I hope she won't turn me down when I ask her to dance. I think we forgot to say hi to the captains, right? Oh, you're right. Ah, Alicia is too charming. Well, greetings, captains. Greetings, captains. I believe we've gotten to know Alicia better after spending some time with her. Despite her cute and charming appearance, she's got many secrets. As we're saying, she's an elf who dances on the battlefield, jumping from one target to another. But she's not only like this when fighting the enemies. You can feel it when conversing with her that she treats others cordially, yet keeps her distance and has an air of secrecy, like a puzzle waiting to be solved. As the second in command of the flame chasers, how strong is Alicia? Let's check out her skills first. Alicia is the first main DPS to use her bow in Honkai Impact Third. Her basic attack and QTE will attach a crystalline seeds to enemies, which makes them more vulnerable to her attacks. She has a love meter that regenerates over time. Hold attack to consume love and cast Cupid's Bolt, a charged attack. You can tap repeatedly to fire multiple arrows. If Cupid's Bolt hits a crystalline seed carrier. The seed will explode. What's special about the explosion is that if it comes into contact with other crystalline seed carriers, it will trigger a chain explosion. Like dominoes falling, it's a chain reaction that produces heavy damage. Alicia's ultimate is also worth noting. Her ultimate creates a crystalline dome overhead. If Cupid's bolt hits an enemy within the dome, it will bounce several times to mow down the enemy. The kiss she blows when casting her ultimate is graceful yet deadly. Even in combat, she still retains her charm. So, how do you obtain such a lovely character? Some of you already know. The lovely Miss Pink Elf would aboard the Hyperion as a farmable S rank battlesuit. Spend ancient legacy and ancient willpower in the War Treasury to purchase her base card and fragments. Oh no! I just used them to buy fallen rosemary a few days ago. Don't worry if you don't have enough materials. In version 5.1, we added new events that provide ancient legacy, and added triple S rank bosses to the exalted section of the memorial arena to allow captains to collect more ancient legacy and ancient willpower. Meanwhile, we added a function for sweeping the arena to help captains get the easier, more quickly and easily. We're also releasing the new equipments in version 5.1, such as the bow, Whisper of the Past, 
and is prime form, Whisper of the Past Sonnet. Wow! From their appearance alone, you can tell they are fit for Alicia. They come with romantic visual effects like pink flickering petals. Yep, and joining the arsenal with them are the Abyss Flower's prime form, Abyss Flower, Liminal Sparrow, and the craftable weapon, Abyss. As usual, there'll also be Mystic Mata, the pristine elf set. Given the art, this stigma set is tailored for Alicia. Because they all feature herself? Oh, well, the classic. I'm playing myself. In fact, this stigma set can be attained from transmuting the rack. To do so, the G4 material, pure gray crystallite, is required. You can obtain pure gray crystallite from the seventh stage of Universal Mirage, opening in version 5.1. Correspondingly, the rack will be craftable in the foundry in version 5.1. For new battle suits, we'll join the Elysian Realm in version 5.1. First in line is Miss Pink Elf, Alicia. The others are Bright Knight Excelsius, the long absent Lunar Kingdrake, and now old friend Striker Fuminata. Alicia rank up stamps will also be purchasable after this update. Apart from expanding the roster, we're also raising the level cap of certain Remembrance vessels. Captain can also obtain items for Kalpas, Sue, and Mobius. May will be unearthing the deeper secrets of the Elysium realm along with our captains. Two new characters will debut in the story. On the left, we have Mobius' assistant, Klein. Unlike the flame chaser scenes, Klein is a living elf who's tasked with maintaining the Elysium realm. As for the one on the right, you should all know her well by now. She's Raven. Yep. For various reasons, she'll meet Mei in the Elysium Realm. It was mentioned in the story that Mei wasn't the first person tested in the Elysium Realm. I suspect many Well Serpent members have undergone the same trial. That's right. But when Raven made it through, what did she experience? And how was she changed? These will be answered in the version 5.1. Furthermore, as Mei continues exploring the Elysium Realm, she'll find a special portal that leads to a brand new area. Maybe this area houses this episode's skip code. Ah, we get it. Well, let's get back to the topic. Judging by its design, it's similar to the second forest area, but has a more ominous vibe. The airy green glow seems to be the consequence of a supernatural influence or contamination. Hmm. May we actually run into a series of uncanny incidents in this space. The clues will lead her closer to the truth. But who is waiting for her once she finds the truth? We won't spoil it for you. And there's more to it. There's another new area that's even more oppressive than this one. It has a somber atmosphere as well. If you look closely, you can tell there were once buildings on the ground here. Now they're floating in the air which can be attributed to a catastrophe. What do the ruins signify? What dangers will May find herself in? All right, I can see where this is going. You just tell our audience to stay tuned. <laughs> well, what I can disclose is, the boss is going to be huge. As for why it's part of the Elysium Realm, you can discuss it in the comments. Besides the Elysium Realm update, we're also releasing a new outfit. Starcasm Nynx is finally embracing her magic girl side. When I saw this outfit, the first thing that came to my mind was the blue butterflies in the trailer. She turns into a blue butterfly when evading and attacking. My impression of it is that it's more mystical than violent. And since it's Starcasm Nynx's first outfit, when Seal receives it, her reaction will be priceless. Uh huh. You won't be disappointed. You would definitely think that's so sealed. Last but not least, a new story arc is unfolding in version 5.1. I remember we previously said chapter 25 can be seen as a conclusion. The new chapter 25 interlude marks the beginning of the new story arc. I can infer from the image that the focus has shifted back to Strixel. Yep, and it's another duel of old and new characters. On the left, we have Nagamitsu, a technician at Shiksu. On the right, 
we have a handsome young man. That is Overseer Otto. Ah, this is his first appearance since getting punched. But Otto is more dangerous when he's staying in the background, because he might be pulling the strings. Like the calm before the storm, I'm certain a prepared Otto won't let us down. The version update will also give Sanga Saga a rerun. It was a sensational event. Yep, when the elaborate plot reaches the end, you'll be struck by an epiphany. If you missed out on this event, this is a perfect chance to experience it. And since this is a rerun, a new chapter will be unlocked every day. In other words, you can unlock all the story stages in a week at the earliest, which gives you all the rewards. There's another piece of good news. The light session will be permanently available. You can use this function after earning max stars in stages. Finally! After each light session ends, it takes me a long time to readjust to grinding material event stages. But I'm happy to know this day has finally come. And that's all for this episode of Hyperion Lounge. Don't forget to watch the special version 5.1 stream hosted by guest streamers later. They will discuss what the new version has to offer from a player perspective. You can also claim 120 crystals while watching. There's much more great content in store for you. See you next time, Captains! Bye-bye!